Good morning, everybody. It is 3.27 in the morning on Saturday, May 6th. This is one of the earliest ones of the year. So we're driving to Table Rock Lake to our favorite place on Table Rock Lake. And it takes about two hours to get there. So launching at 5.30. And man, do we got lots of stuff going on today. It's supposed to be hot today, relatively speaking hot. It's supposed to get up to almost 90 or maybe right at 90, which is the hottest it's been all year by a mile. So I'm sure that'll be take its toll a little bit. And we got some wind like we always do this time of the year. And then another factor is we have four or five different boat tournaments going on at the same time. Big boat, bass boat tournaments. There's a 200 boat tournament, a professional major league fishing tournament going on. There's a 300 boat tournament, some sort of national youth tournament. They kind of do like we do where you can launch anywhere and I'm sure there's gonna be people at my ram. But they don't launch till like seven o'clock and the bass boats don't launch until six o'clock and they're still quite a ways away. It'll take them a little while to get to me. But um, yeah, they'll be around. So that's something we'll have to deal with. And we're fishing our event, our normal NSKA trail event, our fourth event of the year. We're also fishing a MOYAC event that's going on at the exact same time. And uh, so that'll be good if we do good. And then we're also fishing for the very first time that I've ever done it like this. I signed up this year to uh, be a part of a sort of a team concept. And it's different. Now this one will be different because usually in a team deal you can communicate. You can talk back and forth and tell everybody what's going on. And that's kind of the goal of it is to work as a team and try to catch as a team your 10 biggest fish out of the four of you. But because we're doing it with our regular trail that doesn't allow digital communication on the water or any outside influences, we're not going to be able to uh, help each other as a team today. So we're just going to have to do the best we can as individuals and uh, come back together and partner up uh, on a different one later on in the year. But, man, we got a lot going on today. But before we do any of it, we still got about another hour and a half drive to get to the ramp. So, we will see y'all whenever we get there. Well, y'all, I don't know how good the bite's gonna be this morning. I'm talking about, it is clear. Clearest I've ever seen it here at the ramp. Had a full moon last night. So I'm sure there was a new wave of fish that pulled up. There was already some here. We're gonna be able to, theoretically, we should be able to catch them in all three phases. But who knows? I don't love that it's so clear, that's for sure. But the wind's supposed to blow a little bit today, so that should help with things. The water is also as low as I can ever remember seeing it up here. Now, I haven't been here much and I haven't seen it much but it's lower than I've ever seen it in about two or three years. All my landmarks on the bank are not where they usually are. Here we go, y'all. Six o'clock. Let's see if we can catch us a Bait fish in the dark here. 
All right, we need a good day. Our last event on Beaver Lake, we did not have a very good day. So we need points, y'all. Good points. And we're also fishing for our team, which means we got to do our part. Dang it. Well, first cast with a jig. Well, I've had two bites, and both have been on a jig around some shallow wood. Okay. Poor. He was mean. Not even that big. I thought he was way bigger than that. All right, 16 and a quarter. It's not even big enough to keep. Fifteen and a half inch large mouth.
good one. Sixteen and three quarters or maybe seventeen. and a quarter. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Sitting at 76 and three quarters. Probably good enough for about 30th place. Gonna have to do a lot more fish catching. A lot. Now I know a stretch up here where I've caught fish just about every time. That doesn't mean they're there today, but they're there a lot. gave him he got some slack on me daggummit got some slack on me I knew it as soon as it happened it's like oh man he got some slack on me Would have helped out some. There was another follower, little guy, but it's two fish, and we just started this stretch. was a dang big and gosh followers followers let's do something different let's just try to be as thorough as possible gosh that was a good one had a few do that I'm gonna need to keep fishing that flute, but slow down. Let's see. Let's try. I still haven't really figured very much out yet, other than. They seem to be. on the channel swings and not I've had quite a few come up and look at it without eating it if they were really eating it they wouldn't be coming up and looking at it and they're not following it per se they're just coming up and looking at it and going on maybe I need to change colors of flukes something a little more natural looking
think if they have a chance to really look at it. They're not eating it. Almost like they got to be by the reason that I'm catching them by the wood is because I'm just running it right past them while they're already there and they are just reacting to it instead of trying to eat it. Say this at least that's the way the largemouth seem to be. Spotted bass, I think they'll just eat it. That one that jumped off all ago was a spotted bass. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, that was a good one. They're just watching it. That was probably like an 18. Golly. Let's take this white fluke off. Let's see if a more natural color okay, what else let's do since they're getting so dang close to it I have no idea if this stuff works Man, that's like two good ones on this bank that's just followed it. Tell you what, when the wind gets up today, be coming back through here with like a spinner bait or something. See if I can't make hay then. Fourteen and a half. Okay, flat it is. Fifteen inch spot. Man. What a circus out here. Woo.
No! Dang it! Oh, what was that? Oh, man. Had my chance to upgrade. I don't think it would have been a big upgrade, but it would have been an upgrade. Oh, man. Y'all, that's it. And honestly, I don't know what just happened. I've never had so many fish like come out to investigate. I've also never thrown a spinnerbait so much in really good places to only catch one keeper on a spinnerbait. That was wild. That was not really very good. Man. I don't know what was going on. Large mouth were just so random. Spots. Caught a few in the places where I thought I could catch some largemouth. I don't know. I was lost all day long. I didn't know when my next bite was going to come. I don't know that I would have done anything any different, to be honest with you. I, I just, I don't know that I would have done anything different. Fish flats, points, steep stuff, backs, mouths, main lake, bottom, top. That was just uh, kind of wild. But anyway, well, hmm, that kind of stinks. Now we got two good ones and two bad ones. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go nuts the rest of the year. And that's not my best time of the year. But, got to fish all day. Fun time. So, we'll get to the weigh-in. We will give out the prizes and uh, head to the house. Get ready for our pickleball tournament tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. We'll uh, see you on the next one.